everyone, Jeff here again for VIP Vision. Now, I think it's fair to say that the CCTV industry and the security industry as a whole has benefited hugely from advancements in the IT field. So um, take, for example, video compression. We've gone from motion JPEG to uh, MPEG-4, MPEG-4 to H.264, H.264 to H.265, now to the point where we're storing huge amounts of video footage into a very small space. Uh, when we're talking about video footage and the storage, of course, you know, you can't go past the hard disk drive. Previously, we were storing on VHS tapes, uh, time lapse. We probably had to replace that tape every day. Uh, going from there to a couple of frames per second at some low resolution that we had to exchange every day to high definition footage, uh, 25 frames, and we can record for months on end on a single three and a half inch disk. Of course, we can't go past advancements in the IT field. We can't stay at any of that without talking about the internet. The internet has obviously been the biggest thing um, over the past decade or two decades. And by definition or by extension, the internet protocol or IP, where the IP part of the IP camera name comes from. And of course, when we're talking about IP cameras, we can't go past ethernet, okay? Or more specifically, power over ethernet, allowing us to use a single low cost twisted pair cables such as this category five cable, category six cables as well, and being able to connect that to a power over ethernet switch and transmit ultra high definition video um, and power over a single cable. And if we needed to, being able to take that, or leave the switch connected I should say, and connect that switch to a recorder and transfer, you know, a hundred channels of 4K high definition video over a single twisted pair low cost cable, which is when you think about it, quite amazing. Um, of course, like everything, unfortunately, there are some disadvantages to ethernet, um, things that don't necessarily matter in the IT field, but are more specific to security. And the biggest one for that I'd say is probably distance, the distance limitations of ethernet. So ethernet is defined at a 90 meter distance, um, typically a 90 meter distance, obviously that allows for five meters on each end for um, patch leads. So let's say 100 meters, 100 meters for Ethernet. Um, that's, that's the standard over category five or category six cable. It's actually defined by crosstalk, but for the sake of this, we'll say 100 meters. Um, 100 meters can sometimes be an issue as you may have found out in the past. Let's say you've got um, a camera and the camera's on a gate and that gate just happens to be 100 meters or 150 meters, let's say, down the road. You're like, well, I'm kind of stuck then. What can I do in situations like that? Well. Obviously in the IT space, it's no big deal because typically IT stuff's run in buildings. Hey, you wanna run a bit further? No worries, just stick a switch in the middle. Or let's say we can't stick a switch in the middle. Let's just use fiber. Fiber's another option, okay? So I can use a mini GBIC and slot that mini GBIC into, if I pick the right switch, into a switch with a mini GBIC slot and connect that fiber like so. Obviously the problem with fiber is that it's kind of difficult to work with, okay? Um, it's no problem, it, well, because it's difficult to work with, it tends up, tends up being a higher cost typically. Um, it's typically no issue in the IT space because in situations like that, we can afford to just run a single point, single cable from a point to another point where we're gonna distribute from. But in the IT field, or in the security field, I should say, we often run into situations where we've got many, many endpoints or many, many cameras, which all need to run out to separate points um, that would involve many terminations, lots of fiber runs. So it's not necessarily the best thing. It'd be great if somehow we could extend ethernet. Now there are certain solutions out there, such as the, uh, the VIP vision um, ethernet extender, which is this one here, which is actually a three port ethernet switch, which um, is powered via PoE, which is great. That works just fine. But the problem is with this, again, you have to like the switch, you actually have to have a situation where you've got a pit in the middle where you can actually put this device. You don't have to power it, but you still have to put it somewhere. So that's good, but not great. Enter extended PoE or ePoE, okay? So extended PoE, I'll just cut across to a slide here so you can see it. Extended PoE allows us to transmit data and power over a single network cable up to 800 meters. Okay, 800 meters of data and power, which is great. It's great for our cameras. Um, you can get some indications down here of distance. Okay, so um, standard PoE you could do 100 meters uh, with PoE up to 25.5 watts, which is nothing to sniff at. You could use PTZs and things on that, but only up to 100 meters. Now with extended PoE, we can run PTZs 
or small PTZs and larger fixed body cameras out to 300 meters with no issues at all. And if we're just using standard, um, standard cameras, um, you'll find that we can actually run them out to 13, well, 13 watts out to 800 meters, 13 watts at 10 megabit a second, which is fine for your typical camera. So as you can imagine, that's, that's a huge advantage when it comes to um, being able to run your cameras out. Now you can just use your standard Category 5 or Category 6 cable with a standard or with an extended PoE camera, and we can do up to 800 meters. So I think probably the best way to show you this is just, I'll show you the recorders to start off with. So this is available, this function is available on uh, our seventh generation, or the VIP Vision seventh generation video recorders, network video recorders, and it's also available on these switches. So I'll just jump across to a different camera here. So anything, if you're looking for extended PoE and trying to identify it, it's actually the green ports that we're after. Okay, so green ports here, the orange port up here is actually a high PoE port. That's not extended PoE, but extended PoE is green. Um, EPoE is the shortening for extended PoE and they're green, which leads some people to believe that it's some sort of, sort of eco thing. It's not, it's actually extended power over ethernet, which gives us more and more distance. So I'll just show you on the back of these recorders here. So this is, this is an eight channel or eight channel recorder. Um, single, I'll uh, use seventh generation eight channel professional series recorder. And you can see on the back here, we've actually got eight extended PoE ports where we can connect our extended PoE cameras. And we also have currently a 16 channel recorder, which I'll show you on the back here. And again, we've got eight extended PoE ports up here. So um, on this, this unit, we can run up to eight extended PoE cameras and eight standard cameras. It's worth noting too that the extended PoE cameras will work just fine on a, a standard port. You'll just you'll, you'll only be able to go up to 800 meters, uh, sorry, 100 meters, rather than the 800 meters. Okay, so I think probably the best way to actually demonstrate this is to to just show you um, what's actually possible. So I've got a, a six megapixel. Uh, extended PoE camera here, and I'm going to connect that to our four channel recorder here, or eight channel recorder, I should say. So I'll just grab some of this stuff out of the way to help us demonstrate this properly. So yeah, this is our eight channel recorder, and I'm going to connect that to this camera. However, for that, obviously, I'm going to require some cable. So since it's a little bit difficult to get large boxes of cable, or you know, extended boxes of cable, what I'm actually going to show you here is I'm going to show you on 915 meters of category five cable. So this is probably the worst possible case that you could expect. Obviously the spec is only out to, the spec only runs to uh, 800 meters, but for the sake of this demo, I'm going to show you further than that. So I'll just connect these up here. So I'm just going to connect, this one is going to go to our recorder, to our camera. Probably set that one up to our camera here. So that's our camera. That's then going to connect to our recorder. So I'm going to power up our recorder here. And plug in HDMI. Okay, so those two are plugged in there. I'm just going to move the camera out of the way a little bit. And I'm just going to join these connectors together now join these cables together with connectors. Now it's worth noting that you would not normally use this style of connector, okay? Um, this is just for this demonstration. They actually have fairly high insertion loss, so it's not something that you would normally do. Sorry, it's just taking me a little while to pull this out. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this one into this, and we're gonna connect the back of this box here into this one here. And this is the end that's actually going to run to our recorder. Okay, so we have our camera coming in here. And we have, it's running into this box, out of this box, into the second box here, out of the second box, into the third box. Okay, and then it's going to run into our recorder. And I'll just cut back to the other camera. Okay, so you can just see we're going to connect to port one on this recorder here. Okay, so we have our, just to prove to you guys that I'm not faking this in any way. This is our camera here. It's a little bit tangled up, but you can see that it's running in 
and then it's running through all of these additional boxes of cable, 915 meters of it, into port one here. So that's our, that's our setup. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna cut across to the recorder and we'll wait for that camera to come up. Shouldn't take too long, I've just plugged it in. And there you go. We have a camera at six megapixel at 915 meters. Now, as I said, I wouldn't suggest that you, you run it out to 915 meters. Our spec is up to 800 meters, but it um, just goes to show you that even over you know, reasonably average cable, so this is category five cable, not even category six cable, um, we can run quite a long way um, and we can do, you know, great things really, things that we've never been able to do before across this cable. Um, and just to show you, just to prove to you that we're actually running at full resolution on this camera here, I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to log in to the recorder and I'll show you the resolution to start with. So we're at six megapixel here and we're set it to 8192 for our bit rate or eight megabit per second. And I'll just show you that this camera here is actually pulling eight megabit per second. So this is set to a constant bit rate at the moment and we're getting our full bit rate there. And if I wobble the camera, you can see that it's, there's no image breakup. It's fairly, fairly low latency overall. Works exactly the same as you would expect a regular IP camera to function. Okay, so just to recap, in this video, I've shown you um, extended PoE, the advantages of extended PoE. Um, obviously, we can go a really long way and we can pass data and power over up to 800 meters worth of cable. Um, I hope this video has been helpful. If you've got any questions, comments, please leave them below. Um, otherwise, yeah, let us know how these go, how, how situations like these go in your jobs. If you have any situations that you'd like us to cover, um, please, again, leave them below. But yeah, great. Thanks for watching.